Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at a sold out Smackdown Arena. We are three nights away from Survivor Series and you are in the presence of beautiful Dave Easton and the leader of the Disney Alliance, Joe Disney. Joe, good evening. Good morning, beautiful Dave Easton. Well, we are here for another exciting night of Smackdown action. As you say, three nights away from the Survivor Series. What is in store for the, the superstars of Smackdown tonight? Joe, what a week it's been for you. It's always a week for me. <laughs> well, we're going to hear from the SmackDown GM. He's going to kick things off and let's see what he has to say. And, well, we are three nights away from Survivor Series. And, well, it is the last stop before WrestleMania, Joe. I can't wait for this. Yeah, let's see what he has in store. Sheamus indeed will take on edge. And tonight they're going to team up and face the World Tag Team Champions, the Mundo and AJ Styles. In the main Ooh. event. So that's pretty like interesting. That. Three nights before they fight each other, they've got to team up and be on the same team. I don't know how they're going to work out together. Indeed. And, well, he's saying the NWO are going to take on the Shield in a Survivor Series match to give everyone a little taste of what's to come. And, uh, well, do we have to mention Zack Starr already? Really? Like, really already? <sighs> well, let's hope we don't see him anymore in this... We're going to put up enough of him on Sunday. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, the first match is a tag team match. It is Connor Rhodes and Mark Henry who's decided to get off Superstars. And he's going to take on Fandango and Sami Zayn. I like the team of Fandango and Sami Zayn. Yeah. They are the pleasers. Yeah, and nice to see um, Fandango looks to be on the good side now. But uh, here is, um, well, your favourite friend in the world, Matt Rhodes, is... Uh, one of his buddies, Connor Rhodes. Matt Rhodes' friend. I thought I don't. I didn't know he had any. <laughs> well, I thought all Disney. Uh, sorry, did I pull him and guys were friends. I think they're just paid to just enjoy each other's company because we all know Matt Rhodes isn't likable. Well, a bit of hostility there, just because you uh, got a victory over him on NXT, Joe. It was very easy. Like I said, it was. Who, who's this Morgan Wolf, by the way, Joe? Is he your he is. friend of yours, or...? Let's just say he supports Disney. Oh dear. Well, hopefully we'll find out more on NXT. We'll talk a little bit that a little bit later on as Mark Henry has come to ring. Mark Henry, Joe, has been very um, active on the Superstars show. Got a few good wins on there. Yeah, I heard it was training him to recover from something that happened to him. I'm not sure what happened. But... but Listen to this reaction, Joe, for our European champion, Fan Dango. Here he is. Sing along to the people with me. No, come on, professional, Joe, professional. I'm sorry, I apologize. But, Joe, as we, we were talking, we've been talking about this for weeks. Steadily and steadily, the fans have started to grow, and Fan Dango seems to now, as we said last week, embrace the fans. Yep, it's all about the title. Maybe maybe he's going to start not liking him again until he goes for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, if he, if he keeps on this kind of support, he's going to be one of the, he's got to be one of the most supported uh, wrestlers here in NSW. NSW, NSW. And, uh, well, him and Sami Zayn are going to be one hell of a team, you've got to see in this match. Yeah, they're very likely to win, in my opinion. Well, Fandango really seems to be hugging that European Championship. I know, he won't let it get any breathing space. Look, it, it does look awfully shiny. It's a very nice talent. This guy, uh, we've talked about him in the past, uh, uh, Joe, uh, it's been a tag team wrestler, but I am a big fan of this guy. How big? Like, like Dan using Fandango or on new level? Oh, uh, just a full... Like the fans, I just think this guy is awesome. You think I, he is what? I think he's awesome. Ah, just awesome, not amazing, not terrific. Like me in the ring. Ah, oh, come, Joe. You know what it is? You get one victory, and you sort of, all the success is going to your head. Just do your job for tonight, for one thing. One victory. That's one of the many I'm gonna get over Matt Rhodes. You, 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 somebody hit him with a chair for goodness. You hit, somebody threw you a chair. 
You hit him with the chair. As they say in the world of sports, a win is a win. You cheated. No matter how you get it. You cheated. No, the referee didn't disqualify me, so it's a legal win. Well, you better hope that your one of your Disney guys is up for the challenge on Saturday, uh, well, tomorrow night, um, as NXT is a special NXT comes your way tomorrow night, not Saturday, it's on Friday night. Make sure you join us, uh, the stars of NXT tomorrow night, where Joe will be in the corner of AJZ as he takes on Matt Rhodes for the NXT title. AJZ, he's very talented. Well, he did. Better than any other Heyman guy. <laughs> Well, Heyman is out here at ringside as Connor Rhodes, who is going to challenge Fandango somewhere down the line for the European title after becoming the number one contender last week. Um, so that should be a very interesting match. Connor looking to be a two-time European title holder here in NSW. Uh, while Fandango winning the title a few weeks ago in that fatal four-way. I think I think um, Connor came and ha handled Fandango. You think he can't? He can't keep up with the um, dance beats. <laughs> you think it's all about the dancing? Of course it is. They're dancing in the ring right now, and Fandango is teaching Connor that he can't hang. Well, nice back suplex by Connor Rhodes, showing maybe taking that dance beat out of Fandango here early on, as he throws him over the top. That vicious throw over the top. Connor Rhodes are in the wrong uh, bit of town here, really. Nice. Yeah, you go, me. N nice to see that they have uh, destroyed our announce table already. Well, you know, some clear space for us, I guess. Nice to see the laptop isn't here this week. Yeah, the loser took it home, I guess. He did blame you, he said. He said you had it. Also, if it goes missing, it's automatically my fault. No, that's what it is. Because the loser can't track his property. Smackdown continues. Stay with us. It's Dave East and Joe Disney with Smackdown. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NSW Smackdown. You are in the company of beautiful Dave Easton along with the Disney Alliance leader, Joe Disney, as Mar and Mark Henry going for the, trying to go for a win on Sami Zayn. Mark Henry, he did very well in recovering in Superstars, but I don't think he has the potential to take down one of our very own Superstars, Sami Zayn. Yeah, Sami Zayn, who remember, really was it a bit of um, strength he showed by picking Mark Henry for that brain buster weeks ago uh, really got the talk of the NSW universe but, but as we say Joe we saw each week we think Sami Zayn should really start tagging with the regular tag team partner to, um, to go for the tag team titles yeah he needs to build chemistry with one partner not just be, be on and off with other people randomly indeed Mark Henry though looking for the win here into the cover hooks the leg is that enough to put Sami Zayn away no just a one Remember, we are three nights away from Survivor Series, ladies and gentlemen. So much going down. We're going to preview the matches a little bit later on. As, well, so much going on with the Survivor Season. Joe, you're in action on Sunday Night Heat as Mark Henry goes to the cover here. Gets a one. Are one. You, I'm sure you're looking to for that, for that match against Matt Rhodes' team on Sunday night. Yeah, I'm ready to pick up another W. And also, Paul Heyman is going to be wrestling. Again, that's an that's an easier win for me. <laughs> I know my AJZ can handle anyone, and so can Morgan Wolf. Well, in the cover, look at this. Mark Henry looking to pick up a win. There's two and the three, and well, Ooh. there you go. The him and guys uh, pick up the win. No, Mark Henry did all the work. Look at Connor Rose just standing in the corner doing nothing. Well, if, if this is the sight we see on Sunday night, Joe, your, your team will have been defeated. Paul Heyman successful in the ring here tonight. I don't even have to be in the match for my team to win. Well, you remember it's elimination, so one team must be completely eliminated to be successful. So, but tonight it's Paul Heyman and his guys, Connor Rhodes, Mark Henry, who will pick up the win here on SmackDown. 
Lucky one. And poor him is going to get a microphone, I do believe. Let's see what oh, he has. Something hit garbage. Oh no! I, no, they went to the back. Sorry, I apologise. What is, what is Rhodes on about? Calm down. What is wrong with you? Looks like yeah, Paul Heyman has been in a really funny mood this week. This is, well, let's see what Heyman has to say here. Jericho on Monday, Matt on NXT. Everything is going wrong. And when you're a Paul Heyman guy, a Paul Heyman guy, nothing goes wrong. Well, Joe proved that was wrong on NXT last Saturday. Let's see what he says here. Matt wins on NXT, gets a main roster spot challenge. Then Sunday, you and Matt win, will win against Joe Disney. Well, there you go, Joe. And Garbage. Jericho wins at six man. And then, no, oh, look at that. Next week, Connor Rhodes, Fandango, European title match. Wow. So that would be very interesting. So there you go. Oh my God, listen to that, Joe. Look what he's saying. Disney, what are you going to do when Paul Heyman runs wild on you? Oh, him in front of wild. I didn't know he could run at all. <laughs> well, there you go. That is the chance. I can't wait for that match on Sunday, by the way. That is going to be so good on Sunday night. Heath. Coming up next, though, it's the number one contendership match. The winner will take on Natalia at Survivor Series. And, Joe, you're very interested in one of these ladies who sort of rejected you back on Raw. Rejected me? And here she yeah. comes. Winners don't get rejected. The... I rejected Joe Disney girl, Megan. The, she can't. She couldn't handle all Disney girl, Megan. Well, from what I've seen, she threw uh, something over you in the restaurant. I told her to stop gaining weight, and she flipped. <laughs> Dear me. Joe, you just don't know what's happened. Here comes the lovely Molly Holly. I really hope Molly does really well. Nice to see her back on SmackDown. Yeah, it's very nice to see a young lady like her back here. And here's AJ Lee, the former women's champion, who will be looking to try and get, get back into the title picture here tonight. Yeah, it's different seeing her without the title. Something new to me. Yeah, well, it could be a good chance for her to get a chance back. She lost it to Natalia a couple of weeks back on SmackDown. Um, so here we go. First woman to gain the pinfall or submission will fight Natalia at Survivor Series for the women's title. Any predictions in this one, Joe? In this one, I'm going to have to give it to our former women's champion, and that, Adrian Lee. I was going to say, because Megan was a former, uh, former women's champion, sorry, as well. But um, I'm going to go with Molly, I think, in this one. Molly? I'm, why Molly? Because uh, Molly's a good wrestler. She's had the time off. I think she's come back, she'll be determined, and I think she'll come back and she'll go for, to challenge Natalia on Sunday. I think she's going to be a little rusty though, so she hasn't fought in a while. That's true, but I think that will work against her, she'll be rested, um, she'll be totally up for this one. Um, and obviously Megan's got her mind on other things, uh, Curtis Barnett for one of them. Um, so really, I think it could be between Molly and AJ. So Megan is the underdog in here. I would just say with so much going on in her life right now, you just have to say she would really have to be really focused to get this one done. But she's doing quite well so far. I remember when she used that move on me in Vegas. Oh, come on, Joe. You know that's not the truth. You know you've what? been rumbled. Matt Rhodes rumbled you. You know. That's not what the pictures say. You, there's no pictures. You lied, Joe Disney. I don't need to lie. You got rejected by Megan. I rejected her. Mm, I think she, I think the water thrown over your face sort of shows it a different story. That war I was thirsty, so you know she just quenched my thirst real quick. <laughs> well, look at this, Megan, using a, a look like a black widow trying to get Molly to submit. AJ also re uses that move on quite a few occasions. It's better when AJ does it. Oh, jealousy, jealousy, Joe. Come on, act professional now. Fine. As that referee is doing a good job standing in the corner. <laughs> Letting these girls go at it, just like we like it here in NSW. We like it when, <laughs> when the, action, the action is non-stop. That's why we're non-stop wrestling, of course. Of course. If you, don't, if you don't follow this channel right now, go ahead and give it a follow. Yes, yeah, SmackDown continues, though. Stay with us. We'll be right back. It's beautiful Dave Easton and Joe Disney. 
Non-Stop Wrestling Survivor Series comes your way Sunday the 6th of October. Join myself, beautiful Dave Easton, Matt Rhodes, who will take you through the action at Survivor Series. And hopefully that'll be, uh, everyone will think Matt Rhodes will be commenting on Survivor Series um, after he beats the Disney Alliance. But Wait, after he beats the Disney Alliance? Well, you must be mistaken, my friend. <laughs> That is what happens. We're going to, as I say, we're going to preview the Survivor Series matches coming up. Uh, but as I say, I do believe it's going to be me and Jess, me and Jess Oakland, taking you through the action on Sunday Night Heat, when then Matt will join myself for Survivor Series. This match currently in the ring is a women's number one contendership match. The, win the winner will get a shot in Italia at Survivor Series. And during the break, really, all the girls had their chances here. But all now trying to gang up on um, AJ... Yeah, Molly Holly seems to be trying to get a piece at her, but right now Megan is just going at her. He's looking at this. Molly into the cover. Hooks the leg. Could this be a, a big win for Molly Holly? No, just a, a one. And then... Well, AJ, oh, look at this. AJ using... Sorry, Megan using the Black Widow again on AJ. To, could this be enough to put her away? I don't think so. But Molly now tries to come across. Where's she going? She could be going big. Oh, big splash over the top. There's the cover, hooks the leg, surely that's enough to put AJ away. Two and Megan breaks it up. Oh I my thought God. Megan was going to be too stupid to break it up. Unbelievable. And look at this. AJ, oh, reverse DDT. Ooh. But then it, it, Megan tries to pick the pieces. Here we come, big DDT. Megan being a vulture. Megan torn into the crowd. Will AJ get the pen? No. What is AJ doing here? Big hitting the Big floor. Cluster. Megan's, I think, out of it. AJ two gets three. AJ is your new number one contender for the women's title. That seems to be sort of easy since Megan wasn't paying attention. And well, I don't know what Megan was thinking, but AJ Lee is your new number one contender for the women's title. Well, no, she wasn't thinking of being <laughs> the belt. Well, there you go, AJ Lee now has a chance to become the first ever two-time women's champion if she can defeat Natalia at Survivor Series. Uh, she lost her before. Wait. Well, that's oh, true. And, it, uh, and yeah. I think she's asking for a microphone. And, oh, was that a kiss to you there, Joe? Uh, we can share that kiss if you <laughs> want. Well, let's see, is AJ now the number one contender for the women's title? Well, it's not yours, AJ. It's Natalia's. And she's nice to keep it warm. Thanks, babe, for keeping it warm. <laughs> oh, okay, Lee, AJ. You've got to beat uh, Natalia. It's not your title. Anyway, let's go through uh, some of the Survivor Series matches that we're going to see um, this coming Sunday. Me and Joe are going to go through some of them with you right now. Start half nine with Sunday Night Heat and Joe Disney. Here it is. So far it's three on two because we don't know who Matt Rhodes and Paul Heyman are going to pick. But it's your guys against Matt Rhodes' guys. He's called the Disney Alliance. The, the, the Disney Alliance taking on uh, Matt Rhodes and Paul Heyman. Are you confident? You can call them rules, sir. <laughs> are you confident? Very. Also on Sunday Night Heat, it is for the Hardcore Championship. It is the big boss man taking on Roman Reigns and a chance for Roman Reigns to bring the title back to SmackDown. Roman Reigns, the powerhouse of the shield. He could get this done, I hope. Well, we, we, will we see the hardcore title back? We will find out on Sunday night. We're now going to talk about some of the matches you will see from the SmackDown side of things. You will, so far, it's a three-on-one handicap match because Wade Barrett hasn't told us who's going to be in, on his team, but who is the NWO taking on Wade Barrett? Right now, I'm favoring the NWO since I don't know who Wade Barrett has on his back. Indeed, and for the non-stop wrestling championship, Sheamus, the champion, taking on Edge, and Joe, these two are teaming up together later on. Yeah, I can't really determine on who's going to win unless until tonight. Indeed, we will see later on. Sheamus, the championship advantage. We will find out later on how these two get up to. And your main event, it is Danny Jackpot and uh, Zack Starr taking on The Miz. Jericho and Kurt Angle. Do you have anything to say about this match? Who is the third man? <laughs> I 
That's all I can say. I want to know who it is. Survivor Series all comes away. Join us for Sunday Night Heat. It starts at half nine in the UK. Half four at least. Half one in the West. Coming up next, it is an elimination six-man tag. It is NWO versus The Shield. And this is just a taste of what you're going to get, Joe Disney, in your elimination six-man tag at Sunday Night Heat. All right, so if I make the right pick right here, I think I have a high chance of winning <laughs> on Sunday. So give, who would you think is going to win this one, then? I'm going to give it to The Shield. Ooh, The Shield. Let's see what the NSW app has to say. Do you think the surviving team will be NWO? Press 1. If you think it's going to be The Shield, press 2. And we will see what our fans make of this as we go through to our next match, the elimination six-man tag match. All members of the team have to be eliminated for you to win the match. There you go. And look at Edgar. He's such he's so changed since joining the NWO, Joe. Yeah, he, he has like a new personality. It's a new him. Many people have said that he's done in the world of good. Well, he has been getting more victories. Well, let's see what goes here. The NWO who've got a... Well, trying to find out who Wade Barrett they're facing. But these guys, Joe, and especially Roman Reigns, big match for him on Sunday. Here we go. Here are the winners. So you're going for the shield? Yes, I am. Well, there we go. Let's see what will happen in this one. Match three at SmackDown tonight. It is the shield. NWO six-man elimination tag action. So here we go. I think the Shield has an advantage to stay partnered more often than uh, NWO with Edgar. Well, that could be true, but Edgar and Matt Walker are the number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles currently held by AJ Styles and the Mundo. Yeah, but that means nothing. Well, surely being the number one contender, Joe, surely that would mean a lot more. Just like your guy, AJ Z, number one contender on NXT for Matt Rhodes' title. Yeah, but the NWO is sort of like Paul Heyman and his crew. As in? They used to be good. The, now they're washed. They used to be good. Yes. Oh dear. I wouldn't let, Well, if, if Kevin Nash and that come over here, I am not going. I'm running. You and me both. <laughs> well, Dean Ambrose and Matt Walker in the ring at this moment in time. As. Remember, you, you can be eliminated by any means. Count out, disqualification, pinfall or submission. Once you are eliminated, you must go to the back. You cannot stay out at ringside. I would hate to be the guy who loses right away. Well, that could it could happen to you on Sunday, Joe. It could it be. It won't happen to me. It could be you. It won't be me. Trust me. Well, will, will the Disney Alliance have a title going into that match? You will have to find out tomorrow night as AJZ takes on Matt Rhodes for the NXT title at the moment. But SmackDown, though, does continue. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on SmackDown. And non-stop wrestling roll comes your way Monday night, 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. Join myself, beautiful Dave Easton, and NXT champion at the moment, Matt Rhodes, to take you through the action of Raw. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, no eliminations as... Oh, my goodness! Uh, Edgar went for the 450 and completely missed. I don't know if Dean Ambrose moved out the Ooh, way. That's, that's very sad. A chance here for Dean Ambrose to get the first elimination. But again, Edgar's power's out. What's he going to do here? Yeah. Ooh, Dean Ambrose taking advantage of Edgar right now. Indeed. Uh, and look at this. Ambrose in the corner, tags in Seth Rollins. What the world is this? Looks like a doomsday device. Yes, it is, and we've never, going, we've never, ooh. we've never seen the shield pull that out before. That was beautiful. One, two, and three gets him. Easy, easy elimination by the shield. Yes, yeah, so Edgar's gone. It's now three on two. Edgar has to go to the back, and well, Kevin Nash is now inside the ring with Roman Reigns, who's not the legal man. Seth Rollins is the legal man. So they just traded Kevin Nash. So Kevin Nash has to really concentrate on Seth Rollins here. Remember if you're... Looks like that, did, that little trick didn't work out yeah. too well. Well, no, it didn't. But at the moment, Kevin Nash 
really his team at the, the disadvantage three to two could even go down three to one oh come on Kevin leave our bloody announce table alone we just put it back before he before he just run our table I happened to get a peek at the NSW app and it is pretty even right now it is yeah remember bring your voting guys one for the NW two for the shield please do we love to read your comments through the show if there's um, and also we like to get these polls up as well running so make sure you do get involved on the NSW app if you are watching us on Twitch which you should be if you're watching us on YouTube make sure you catch us live as look at this oh well Kevin Nash went for the jackknife and worked <laughs> Seth Rollins is it Dean whoa, Ambrose whoa. I, I think he was gone I th did he want to get jackknifed <laughs> I don't know what happened there maybe dissension in the shield I hope not they're a beautiful tag team Indeed. They're almost like Kundo and AJ Styles. Well, yes, indeed, who the NW will be facing in the coming weeks. But Hopefully the Shook will weaken them down. Well, yeah, but the Shield, if they're going to fight each other, it's not going to help. Uh, Dean Ambrose here. Remember, Seth Rollins is still a legal man here. And, oh, nice um, neckbreaker by Kevin Nash. Continuing to work over Seth Rollins, who... Well, he's now thrown over again. Smackdown continues. We're going to another break. Stay with us. We'll be back with the conclusion of this match. And non-stop wrestling. NXT comes your way this week on Friday. It's at 11 o'clock in the UK. Six in the East, three in the West. Join uh, the Mundo and Jess for all the action. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is still three on two in the favour of the Shield against the NWO. It is beautiful Dave Easton along with the Disney Alliance leader, Joe Disney. And during the break, Joe, it's really been all NWO. Yeah, Kevin Nash was staying in the ring. I was going to say he needed a tag, but he got it now, which is very good because the shield was trying to seclude him from his partner. And now Matt Walker's in. He needs to really try and start eliminating some people, get the score even up here. But Roman Reigns is on such a high at the moment, especially after becoming the number one contender for the hardcore title. Now looking to work over the leg of Matt Walker. Takes him down. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Dance. He's got that leg lock in here. And Matt Walker's nowhere near the ropes. This he could, might tap. He might tap indeed. He's in a lot of pain. I don't know if it was due to that move just beforehand. And look at That's, this. I think he will tap, actually. He will. Why is Kevin Nash should get in there and try and break it up? But he's tapped. And wow, and Kevin Nash is at a huge disadvantage now. It's three on one, and remember the NW, Wade Barrett must be laughing his socks off at this. I think if I'm Kevin Nash, I'd try and leave. I'll be embarrassed to be Kevin Nash right now. Indeed, it's going awfully wrong with NW. Also team NW, who's having a bit of... Uh, think Kevin Nash is going to take three members onto the shield all by himself. Is it time for a new roster already? <laughs> This is unbelievable. Look at this. But Kevin Nash, some power. Power slams Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is, as you see, the powerhouse of the shield here. And he's groggy right now. And Kevin Nash has got to get a quick elimination here if he's got any chance of surviving. He is and Ambrose, what is he going to do? Ah, nothing. <laughs> as continues on. Look at this. Kevin Nash. Got, oh, drops Roman Reigns right on his face. <laughs> I, I thought he was all worn out. I didn't think he could handle a move like that. No, but Kevin Nash showing that he's still got a lot of power. He has got to try and get an elimination, though. Going for the Boston Crab. But come on. Close to the ropes. There it is. And then a big clothesline by Roman Reigns turns the advantage. And look at that. He's got too many he can tag in. Kevin Nash has got nobody. Kevin Nash cannot tag in. But Kevin anyone. Nash did survive to the last member. Well, Kevin Nash is the last member. So he's just proving to himself why he is a leader. But look at this. Ambrose has him up. Can he drop him down? Yes, he can. Surely this is it. Ambrose into the cover. No hook of the leg. Surely that is it for Kevin Nash. There it is. What? A clean sweep for the shield. The NW just got decimated. And you have to think. Wade Barrett has got to be laughing as the Shield have just torn apart the NWO and the NWO surely now have got to be the underdogs. Who, who Wade Barrett's going to bring out? Are we going to find out tonight who Wade Barrett's partners are going to be against the NWO come the, the Survivor Series? 
Well, all he needs is a semi-adequate team like the Shield or someone better. It'd be nice to see Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins have put their differences aside. Well, it looks to have to have after that little thing earlier on. Kevin Nash uh, has got a, a mic here. I mean, well, look at it. I think he's a bit delusional here. Barrett, you think this ga this is a game? Well, Kevin, you, the NWO didn't take out the Shield. What things you're going to take out, Kevin? Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa what's this? I know them guys. Oh. Well done. That's. Oh, that's Screwface. What's Screwface and the Fallen doing here? They're not on SmackDown. I think we just found the partners. And the former members of the Wyatt family. Well. No, come on, guys. Just leave. Just yeah. Don't come. No, just leave. Just leave. Just leave, Kev. What the hell? They're coming back. No, don't come back. Don't. No, come on. Just leave him. No, no, what do you want that mic for? Weird. No, oh. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, oh, so look at that. He, indeed, Screwface and Fallen, who were members of the Wyatt family, Joe, on Raw, until wow. until Christian um, defeat, defeated, well, they defeated him, got rid of them, and now they're here on SmackDown, and they've signed to SmackDown. Well, that's great for us, new superstars indeed former hardcore champion and united states champion between them there so they're saying come sunday the nwo is over and well at the beginning of the end and it's going to be them three men that do take the nwo out now i think they can do it well after tonight maybe they, they can episode 22 part one is over for smackdown ladies and gentlemen it is myself davis and signing out joe disney say goodbye to the fans for part one goodbye fans and remember, if you're on Twitch, give us a cheeky follow. YouTube, like, subscribe, watch the next video. If you can, join us live. We're going to be right.